Ace, what do you think, bud? Baby Ace, how you doing? Can you wave and say hello? No, you still camera shy. That's Baby Ace. Hey guys, how you doing today? I wanted to make a little video about the Lexus GX460 and the first five mods I did to it since owning it. Here we go. So here we are with the 2020 Lexus GX460. And I uh, recently purchased this, had uh, 30,000 miles on it, but needed a good family vehicle, pretty much the wife's vehicle, but I daily it because I have a diesel truck, project drift car, V8, and then a race car. So this is definitely a little more economically friendly, even though it's a V8. I'm still getting about 20 miles to the gallon in the city, so not bad for V8 SUV. But um, yeah, I wanted to go over the first mods I've done to it. Number one's gonna be these all-weather floor mats. Now, we had the dealer throw these in as part of the deal when we purchased the car new, but, so they have Lexus, but any of these weatherproofing floor mats, weather tech's real good. But you can really see all the dirt already accumulated over there. But and if you do any off-roading in this vehicle whatsoever, you're really not going to want to mess up the nice black carpet that really shows dirt. You can see you got them in the front, the back. Hey, buddy. And then even got the back mat here. I mean, look at all that. It accumulates from baby strollers and such. So definitely good to have these floor mats for any type of weather you live in. And I mean, look at all that it would be just in your carpet. And I can just pull these out, spray them off, vacuum it. Really makes a big difference. They just lock into place right here. Real nice design, but definitely worth the money. And first thing I got when getting this GX460. Second thing I did to the GX460 was window tent. These front two windows were just, you could see through like a fish bowl. So I just did light, I think it's 25% tent just to match the rear, as you can see. Um, what I also did is the front whole front windshield, just with the kid and everything, and really just gives it that little bit more. I didn't want to do the whole top tent strip, but as you can still see, you can still see pretty good into it, but it's not limo tent like <laughs> this truck. So easy to see out of still, but really gives it that dark depth characteristic. Match the wheels. third mod on the GX 460 I did was uh, I hit 40,000 miles the tires stock ones were getting really bald they're really small for I mean an off-road SUV so I got the Falcon Wild Peak all terrains I did go up one size in each so it's a 275 65 instead of a 265 60 that it comes factory with um, I did need an alignment right after, and it does hit the notorious bolt when I either slam on my brakes or and try to turn or hit into a gutter just right, but I will address that. I do plan on lifting it a little bit eventually and maybe removing the step racks, but all in the process and it's not the cheapest, so little by little, but for now, these wild peak all terrains, I feel like do a great job and look really good on it so really fills the wheel well a lot more a lot better for off-roading and uh number four here fourth mod i did to this was i was coming up on thirty thousand miles 
air filter was looking a little dirty, so I just went ahead and did the drop-in K&N air intake filter. It's right under these four clips. You know, it's just that square. I would undo it all, but don't feel like messing with it really, but you know what that is. And so I didn't want to do the whole intake and do all that. Just try to leave it as factory as possible, but just that little bit. I can't say I really noticed an improvement at all, maybe on the throttle response just a hair but at least it's better for the intake clean filter so can't go wrong with that what do you think bud And then the fifth and last thing mod I did to it, I don't know if it's really a mod, but something you should do when ever really purchasing a vehicle, but is get it serviced. So this is all time four wheel drive, if you know, if you don't know, um, but so it needed a diff flush at 30,000 miles. So I went ahead and did that. And then also needed an oil change. You know just the regular maintenance things brakes i ended up getting the uh, rotors resurfaced just to try to help because i noticed a little bit of pulsing so but yeah that's uh get it serviced you want to make sure it's all taken care of everything's up to date and the maintenance you can see where someone swiped me a little bit but not bad oh well could be worse and beautiful vehicle though rides like a dream the tires really haven't made that big of a difference in mile per gallon i just drive a little bit slower so these taillights kind of grew on me a little more and more I really like the red but kind of gives it the alteza lexus look so uh, leave it for now but yeah let me know what you guys think if you have any questions or what you guys did or would recommend next for doing to the gx 460